What's up guys, my name's Hugh Miller, and today we're playing some Nancy Drew, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Ooh, it's the seventh mystery in the Nancy Drew game adventure series. It's one of the, it's, it's supposed to be a scary game. I, I don't find it that scary. I, I personally don't think it's that scary at all. Um, that's just kind of the way she goes. Uh, anyways, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough for this game right now, so let's hop into this. Welcome to my latest case, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. To start playing, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Tutorial. Alright, well, we're going to go right in on Junior Detective. Dear Ned, remember Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad has up in his office? Well, she just bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the 20s as his country getaway. We're talking major fixer-upper. Anyway, last night Sally called and she said she desperately needed my detective skills. She refused to say why over the phone. Naturally, I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately, but weird things started happening the moment I pulled up. First, this big tree fell down behind my car and has me totally blocked in. And then I discovered that Sally's gone. She left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightened Sally away, another part of me is starting to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. Awesome. So here we are in Sally's little cabin here. I like this. Ew, this, this is so cute. Oh, I love this so much. I'd stay here. All right, let's uh, go and read this note that she left for us. Nancy, I'm really... Really, really sorry, but I just can't face another night here. I'm going to going to my aunt's in Philadelphia. Doors open. Make yourself at home. We'll call you from my car. That's not a good idea. P P.S. Cell phone number is. P.P.S. Don't hate me. Okay, Sally. So you're gonna want to start off by just sort of exploring the house, taking some pretty important stuff. Oh, hold on. We're not done yet. Dead tree cut down. Okay. Take that water, and now we can go and answer the phone. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Hi Sally. Sally. Hey. We have to talk fast because I'm in my car and my cell phone's running low, so we might get cut off. All right. But did you see no my worries. note? Yes. Are you all right? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You must think I'm such a flake. I'm just worried about you. What's wrong? Yeah. I couldn't stand the thought of spending another night there. I knew you were on your way, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. I just got so darn scared. What's to be scared of? It's so peaceful and quiet here. Yeah. Just wait until it gets dark. Then you'll see. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. No way. You got me so curious. I wouldn't leave even if I could. Yeah. What do you mean? A tree fell down behind my car just as I was driving up to the house. I'm blocked in. Oh, the dead maple beside the driveway. Oh, they told me it was in danger of falling over when I had the place inspected. I just never got around to doing anything well, about it. Well, you're lazy it. then. Listen, call M's Emporium. That's a store on the lake. Dude, it's like knows everybody. 9 you know at night or something? It's if really late. To answer her phone. It's late. Won't the store be closed? Where's my brain? Okay, look. I just bought a little outboard motorboat. I haven't used it yet, but the guy who put it in for me said it should run just fine. Mm -hmm. It's tied up at the dock out front. Just get in it and go. Go anywhere. Just get away from the house. I can't just take off in your boat. It's pitch black outside. Yeah. Then listen to me. Go around the house and lock all the doors and windows. Do that right now. Oh, what? I think she's superstitious of something. There aren't any locks on the doors and windows. What are you so afraid of? The dogs! Those dogs! Malone's dogs. Out of nowhere. Please, they're just outside howling and snarling. Teeth and claws. Horrible. Holy heck. Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? Okay. That's squeaking mice, okay. Oh! What was that? What is that? What is that? The heck? It's stuck. Oh. I need some sandpaper. 
Well, uh, don't have that. All right. What is that noise? The moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. What on earth is that noise? Something's out there. Now look what you've done. What? That was Who a strict area. At least I think it was. Never know for sure now, will I? Who are you? Who are you? My name's Red Knot. And if you've got a volume knob, I'd appreciate your taking it down a notch before you scare away everything from here to Lancaster. Okay. I'm Nancy Drew. What were all those noises out here just now? That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling in birds. And doing a pretty good job of it, too, till you showed up. Where'd okay. you come from, anyway? I'm staying here in the old Malone place. Now, why would you want to do a thing like that? The Malone house is no place for one young woman, let alone two. Uh, why? What do you know about the woman living here? I talked to her a couple of times. But you know, the last time I saw her, she wasn't doing so good. She acted real anxious, scared. Did she say what was wrong? The dogs. The dogs of Mickey Malone. Legend goes that when Malone was finally arrested and hauled away, his four dogs went running off into the woods and were never seen again. People Ooh. would just hear them. Howling like their hearts were broken. Campfire stories. Until one by one, they all died and went silent. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. Ooh. Are you saying Sally's house is haunted by ghost dogs? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. And some nights, the dogs would appear outside the house, running around, snarling and barking and throwing themselves at the doors and windows. And then... They'd be gone. They're Holy heck. The cemetery just beyond the house, you know. Them and Malone both. The dogs would attack her house? It's like they don't want anybody but Malone living there. I guess they don't know he's dead. And so are they. Oh my. Did they ever attack Sally? She never gave them the chance. After the first attack, she stopped going out at night. Just locked the doors when it got dark and sat tight until morning. Why haven't the police investigated? This is a New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. I don't I live in New York. There's one officious little park ranger, and all Jeff Akers does My name is Jeff. around all day trying to figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here to a bigger park. Do you live close by? I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path, kind of my base camp, and I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Oh. Don't really need it. What's that? I don't like that. Are those the ghost dogs? Yes, ma'am. Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. One more thing. The water in Sally's well needs to be tested. How do I do that? Get a sampling kit from Jeff Akers. Ranger stations on the east side of the lake. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. What? Okay, uh, I don't like the sound of that. Could you just, uh, could you just protect us, please? Oh, this is spooky. Uh-oh, oh, going to bed. Uh-oh. This is not good. Uh-uh. How are they doing that? They're doges. They can't turn doorknobs. What is happening? What is this? Holy heck. Glowing eyes! What is wrong? Ah! Okay, we're going to bed. Daytime. Oh, no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's nighttime scary. Oh. Wow. That was an ordeal if I ever saw one. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, man. That was that was really Looks scary. Like paw prints. So they weren't they, they had to have been real cuz ghosts can't do that, can they? Or maybe they can. I don't know. I have no idea. All right, let's go explore outside now. So they we got this little shed here. It's pretty pretty neat. It's locked. Of course it is. Of course it is. Miss Nancy Drew. A face only a gnome could love. Oh. Professor Hodgkiss's boots. 
the thing, the iron from Haunted Mansion. There's the key! 